So when you're logged into your console, um, you'll see this um, horizontal bar at the top. So you hover over Edit Page and Edit with UX Builder, and that's how you access UX, UX Builder. Um, it's a much, much easier, more modern way of um, editing the site. Uh, but what we want to do is go to Kitchens. What is Kitchen Refacing? Cabinet Handles. That page is now finished for you. And it's just a quick walkthrough on how to um, edit the text and the images. Um, this page is now completed and ha being handed over to you. Uh, so you go to um, Edit Page Hover this drop down comes up, click on edit with UX Builder and it loads and gives you all this information. So all the content is here, there's a link at the bottom for um, the Kevis page. Uh, so the way that you manage this is you click onto this box here, you've got open text editor to the left Click on the blue button, open text editor, then you have uh, the content here. So if you uh, select quality replacement knobs and handles, you will see that I've chosen head one for that. Head one, if we go to head one, you will see that's the orange um, heading here. Uh, in time it will be changed to the turquoise you're after. Then the next one it's important to be head two, and that's the style of head two, and the rest of it is paragraph. So you will find these styles within here. So generally, what you want to work with is head one, two, three, and paragraph. Uh, this is quite important uh, to have the site work effectively on Google search. So you click OK, apply, and update, as you see on the left here, as I'm doing. Now, the gallery. So I'm going to give you a master file. All these images had to be had needed to be resized. Um, so if we go to, we click onto the gallery. We go to Edit Gallery. Um, add to Gallery. So you go to the media part of the site, Media Gallery. Uh, upload files. So we want to. Uh, now, if you want to choose any more knobs and handles, you use the master file I gave you. I use Photoshop, so you'll probably use some other software for your PC. I don't know what that is. Um, so it's important you keep that exact um, size and overlay it with the choice of handles and knobs that you're after. So we go to Select File. I would then choose... I'll go to Handles, Kathy's Knobs. So I'll choose the, let me see, I'll go to the larger image. So that's square format. I'll call this one, I uh, won't be able to change it, I've just uploaded it anyway. Uh, so you choose it from the desktop, you upload it as you see here. It's important that you give the image the name of the product. In this case, it's called um, Square Door Knobs. Um, I've gone in more detail because I've researched it, um, but you make sure that you fill every single one of these fields and then add to gallery. And you will find it's added down here, but we have it twice. Um, so I can update gallery and you'll see it's added here, so it's duplicated again. You click on Apply and Update. So when you... So we'll put, jump out of UX. Uh, I'm just making the change in the domain name, so I'm back on the home page. We go to Kitchens. What is Kitchen Refacing? Cabinet Handles and you will see the gallery here. So this has been custom coded um, so people can scroll and you can see the extra square knobs there. I will actually leave it for you to remove and it's quite 
easy to remove. So I'll just go, I'll copy and paste this URL into a new tab up here. In my browser, we'll go to edit page, edit with UX Builder. I have saved um, that second screen I've finished to be in the gallery. Um, what, but if you want to remove it, you click onto the gallery. Options, go to the left, edit gallery. So this is where you manage your gallery. So if you want to delete it, you just click on the cross and it's gone. Or you can just um, leave it as it is. So I'm going to leave it as it is. I'm not going to save it. I'm not going to update the gallery. You'll see that it's still there. Um, and I will leave that for you to make that change. Um, so you can continue to grow this gallery uh, with as many images as you wish. But I will go into, so I'll quit out of that. Okay, exit out of that. And I'll go to Reface Kitchen's dashboard. And here to the left is uh, media. So this is where the media library is, where all your media is being stored, the images. Uh, so when we choose this, that's the one I've just uploaded recently. But you'll see with all these others, I've actually written up unique descriptions for each and every one of them. They've been researched. And that's what's taken quite a bit of time, as well as all the images being resized to fit this exact same square pixel dimension, which is what you need to follow from here on. The other pages will be much the same, so I will give you that master. Uh, so the next page I believe to work on is um, replacement doors. We'll go into there, and that's the Natura stone that's placed here. Um, and I will start on this in the coming day. That is your guide on how to go to cabinet handles, and it's all over to you. So even here, oh, you just go to edit, edit with UX Builder. You click on here if you want to make a change, open text editor, and this is all paragraph style, so that's your styling there. That's okay, so if you want to make changes, you just click on the blue button, make the edit, okay, apply, and update. The social icons, uh, just leave them as they are for now, and you can edit the text, so that's how easy it is to go through and um, manage this page. Uh, this has yet to be updated, but the content is correct now on this page here. Thanks so much for watching.